we know that the skies were clear in that it was hot as it is in Japan in August. At 8 o'clock in the morning, men and women were going to work. Children were going to school by streetcar or on foot. The shopping district in the center of town already bustling. Suddenly, at 8.15, the city turned into a living hell on earth. The bomb exploded 600 meter, meter is about ground. Radiation and heat waves of between 3,000 and 4,000 degrees centigrade scorched the ground, obliterating the hospital just below and the entire inner city consisting mainly of wooden traditional Japanese houses. Areas up to three kilometers away from the epicenter were affected by radiation, by fire, by the black rain, which is the radioactive dust and particles that fell over the city. It is estimated that 350,000 people were in Hiroshima on that day. 140,000 of them died instantly or, for, or from jumping into the rivers to soothe their uh, unbearable burns or from injuries in the months to come. The survivors, the Ibakushas, and the Japanese peace movement have played a crucial role in keeping the stories alive and in renouncing war, all war, and in promoting peace. The museums in Hiroshima and Nagasaki bear witness to their efforts. No one can walk away unaffected by what you learn there about the war, about the bombings, about the tens of thousands of human tragedies in their wake.